What is up fishing addicts on today's video we will be talking about the best well kept secret amongst pro anglers that uh, not a lot of people have shared so far but if you apply this technique you will improve your frog fishing however not all the time it is guaranteed to catch a frog fish it will all depend on are you fishing heavily matted areas are you fishing some uh, moss or a uh, little bit of grass so if you have a lot of thick lily pads still your hookup ratio shrinks down but however as most people will tell you when you cast and you have to wait two seconds well in that two seconds the fish inhales your bait and gets a good taste of the lure so when you have a frog that's fresh out of the package it will be effective but when it comes to heavily grassed areas that fish will grab it and will have enough time to spit it out by the time you set the hook just because the taste so what i like to do on my frogs to get uh, more bites or increase my hookup ratio i do not mess with the hooks that's number one no go for me to mess with the hooks because as soon as you open these hooks up now you're more prone to snag so sometimes when when a bass bites just the back end of the bait you still have one hook uh, that's exposed and can get snagged while the bass holds one side of the bait and the other hook is exposed and that's how you look most of the time you lose your fish because now this hook is hooked down to some thick lily pads or whatever and now the fish has enough le leverage to rip the other side off so uh, what i like to do is i'll trim just a little bit from the back skirt and i just had scissors there we go so i like to trim um i would say a little bit of more than halfway i'll trim the skirt and that way they will not uh they won't get the skirt uh most of the time so they'll uh, latch onto the hooks and the most important part what you need to know is add some scent into it so um it doesn't have to be what i'm using i just like this product it's very easy to apply and it is pretty good um love it every half an hour or 45 minutes to an hour i'll apply some and that way the fish will taste food it will not be the plastic it will not be something whatever the lure was sitting on a box or whatever some kind of chemicals it will be a natural food taste so if you notice when you're casting a frog or any type of lure you keep on casting casting and you catch one fish and then uh next bite again you catch fish and now you start catching more and more fish that's because now that lure has some kind of uh amino or whatever the food uh whatever the taste the bass uh have on their mouth now it has some kind of taste and most of the big uh fish they already know the taste of a uh, rotten plastic so they spit it out real fast they know it's not food but if you have if you have a little bit of scent I'm not uh, preaching you should use the product that I use but any type of scent will work I just happen to like uh, proline baits I also enjoy a liquid mayhem and liquid mayhem you just have to be careful it is a very strong uh, scent so you uh, just a tiny bit goes a long way uh, you just have to uh, apply it you can use your hands but like I said it's very hard to get the smell off um i like uh proline beach because you just spray it and it's a lot cleaner and it's less messier and frogs 
I'll get more into detail which frogs I like, but I am pretty much stuck on one brand. And this is a very small frog compared to, I would say, a Boya Pad Crusher. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Boya Pad Crusher. Um, this frog is a little bit smaller. I don't know if I can, if you guys can see it. It's just a tiny bit smaller. I would say a quarter of inch smaller than the Boya Pad Crusher, but it is as just as heavy as, and I believe this is why I get more fish because it's a lot easier for them to swallow it. It's not very soft. A lot of people um, go for the softness of the frog. However, this one is not soft, but this is the only frog that I have came across so far that I have much better hookup ratio than any other frog. Booyah Pet Crushers, very soft, very good frog as well, but I do prefer uh, the Jackal. I believe this is uh, this is the Glitter Gill, and I just purchased these uh, five of them um, for upcoming tournament. Uh, I did misplace some of my tackle, so I am resupplying. But for the most part, keep that in mind. Scent makes fishing better. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any other tips and tricks for catching more bass on a frog. I hope this tip helps you out. Go out there, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.